Do you know what you are getting yourself into? Do you know what lurks beyond this video? Look into my crystal eight ball and you shall soon see the answer. <laughs> I totally got you guys! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Let's start over. Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Matlock, the entrepreneur. Welcome to Fantastic Fridays, the show where I talk about obscure and unheard of holidays. Since Halloween's not until tomorrow, I figured I'd give you guys a jump scare in advance. But today's October 30th, and we have plenty of holidays to get to, so let's get to it. First off, it is Buy a Donut Day. Can't see anything wrong with that, let's go! We're here! Walking into the Kroger. I'm totally not getting weird looks right now. So I did not think about this that I would be walking into a Kroger to find donuts at the same time that it's rush hour and everybody's coming in and everybody's here and everyone's giving me weird looks because I'm talking to my phone. But we will find out where these donuts are. So my mom gave me sage advice before I left the house and she told me that they would be in the back left corner near the Frozens and so I'm going to look there. Oh, 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 I think I found them. Yes, 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 I think I have found. The Krispy Kreme donuts. I do not know if I'll have enough money to buy one. Wait a minute, the 12 count's only like five bucks. I'm getting that, I'm getting that. So scrumptious, it's scary, it says on the back. Funniest thing about coming to stores is what they have on display, giant teddy bears. This is a very disturbing angle. Me too. I'm so disappointed she didn't comment on my suit. Back outside in the freezing cold. Oh. <laughs> I should probably taste one of them just to make sure that they're not poisoned or anything. I mean, they are Halloween donuts or something. Oh, it's so good. I think I'm gonna put the rest in the refrigerator because I don't think I could eat a whole donut. It pays to save your pastries, don't it? Okay. Next up, it's candy corn day. Candy corn is awesome because well, it's just so yummy and fun and just amazing. I may sound like a five-year-old, but it's true. <laughs> there we go. I got a defective candy corn. It tastes good, and much like Oreos, there are multiple ways to eat it. You can eat one at a time. You can eat the white part, then the orange part, then the yellow part, or you can eat handfuls at a time. Don't do that. Fun fact, some candy corns are not orange, yellow, and white. Some of them actually have brown on them. Now this isn't exactly visually pleasing, which leads some people to say, I'm not gonna eat those brown ones. And of course, they taste the same, so in response, I was like, why can't he eat them? I'm sorry, that was a corny joke. But anyway, these look really good, so I'm gonna eat like a lot of them. Are you not forgetting something, Ryan? Like what? Ah, uh, the next holiday? No, uh, I don't think we need to worry about that one. That one's barely even a holiday. Ryan! Fine, fine, fine. The next holiday is Sugar Addiction Awareness Day. Yes, yes it is. What? Ryan, I think you have a serious problem. I do not! Um, yes you do. Well then prove it! Well, first off, you've been eating candy corn this entire episode, and second off, you have a drawer filled with candy right next to your desk. Oh, come on, Hobbs. Everybody has a drawer filled with candy next to their desk. Name three. Um, pff, uh, my friend Audrey... Uh... Okay, I can't think of any more, but I'm sure that they can think of some down in the comments section. You're just scared to admit that you have an addiction. Look, Hobbs, I can stop my sugar intake any time that I want. Then stop. Well, I don't want to. I, I give up. Well, that's about it for holidays today. I don't think that we have any more. Uh, let me just check real quick. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh yeah, there was one that was just ridiculous. I haven't talked about it yet. I guess I'll do it, whatever. It's actually Haunted Refrigerator Day. You know how sometimes we all leave leftovers in the refrigerator, forget about them, and then they go bad, right? It's a horrible thing that happens, but Haunted Refrigerator Day basically says that when your food dies, it becomes a ghost and haunts your refrigerator. So Haunted Refrigerator Day is a day to go into your refrigerator and make sure you do not have any decaying food that might turn into a ghoul and scare you down the road. You know, I don't think it would be very cool of my food to attack me after I put it in the refrigerator. But anyway, the idea that if food dies in your refrigerator, it will haunt you forever, that's just silly. It's just so ridiculous. <laughs> but wait a minute. I'll be right back. Hello? 
Hello? A donut gravestone. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Let's see how you like it when someone takes a bite out of you. Every day is a holiday, so spread some cheer and let them hear about how we're hating and celebrating how all these weird funny holidays are.